I found out that non but I didn't even know this shit. See, I don't really know her that much. Um, oh, yeah, Mercury is a retrograde spicy death. Yeah. Uh, no fucking figure. Excuse my French. Um, so anyway, this shit started going straight about. And then I find out she's being happy. And somebody gets me a friend, like, have you seen this person? Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I've told this to her. So she's been doing my drink. She's been talking crap for quite some time. I'm glad that's what I'm trying to do. I don't. I can't say that I really come back to her that often. Just keep in mind that everything I've done about her is on the same exception of like one hour. There was one time where I didn't want to do it, but I wasn't proud of it. But I allowed people to make me a drink like that. So, anyway, she just sounds like she's really happy. I mean, she does. This is no doubt about it. I don't know if there's something about it. Yeah, I think there's something about it. That just strikes another voice. She's like, oh, and she doesn't have a lot of things to do. She likes it, right? So, she takes a piece of paper. She has multiple times. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not perfect. Um, every time that I try to respond or I say anything that involves like myself and shape work, accuse me of being a poor Brittany. She's always got to do this. But there was one person that said, uh, Thor. There was a person in her cabin that I Thor that said that I have nothing to do with Thor because I'm from her victimhood and defending Seth Rogers. Well, I have news for you. I love how you, all you people over there believe that you know me or you think that you know me. You have no idea. None of you do. But even with, with all that, even out of all of the trash talk, I don't care about that. You have to have thick skin to be on this platform. I, I say that all the time. Um, you have to let it roll off your shoulders and just ignore what people say about you. Um, but what what has triggered me to go live today isn't even necessarily that nonsense in another live. I'm used to that at this point. You've been doing this since April, I think. I need to go back and look. Don't hold me to that date. It's, it's been quite a few months. So that's not even why I'm doing this today. I'm doing this today because I'll be damned. If you're going to sit there and say that I'm a perpetual victim, when that's the biggest form of gaslighting that I've ever seen in my life. You telling me that I'm being a baby or I'm, you know, making myself a victim by merely speaking up against the things that you were saying about me is the sheer definition of gaslighting. It, it's a conversation shut. Like, it's a conversation ender. Like, you immediately shut me down by saying that. No, it's not true. That doesn't matter. I'm nobody's victim. I'm damned. I'm not, I'm not your victim nonsense. I'm not Mallory's victim. I'm not anybody's victim. Welcome back to another nonsensical review. This will just be a very short and sweet little reminder of factual timelines of how things happened. Buckle up. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Thank you so much for your patience. I appreciate that. I was trying to get something prepared uh, to show real quick. So tonight is going to be, um, I, 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 feel, I feel like I need to say this because I, the last thing I want to do is to give the wrong impression um, until I see uh, Um, proof of certain things. I do want to stress this very much right now. Okay. This stream is not about Seth. Okay. Until I see evidence um, of some of the things that are said, I don't just take things and run with them. As most of you are aware by now, on August 17th, Brittany decided to do a live stream. Initially in the thumbnail, it was Betty, Seth, and Tony. And Seth was hashtagged in the conversation. She was going to be doing a live stream about TikTok Tony and the text messages that came out. But as I'm going through to clip out and make the five hour stream about a two hour pre-recorded video, I realized that in the start of this video, she had tried to once again rewrite history. And she took the opportunity with the captive audience she had to attempt to make it seem that Mal and I might have been behind said Patreon hacking. So I am going to take the opportunity to drop this quick little video here to set the record straight of some things factually that happened and timelines since Brittany once again is intentionally misleading people. I find it very ironic that she slipped this in to a stream about TikTok Tony and Seth and BHB. Nothing really shocks me with her, but I see what you're doing there, boo. I see you. If you don't want me to respond, Brittany, stop lying. If you don't want any more clapbacks, stop lying. After I drop this quick little video, I will be doing a long form pre-record to break down the conversation with TikTok Tony and the gaslighting that happened there. But let's go ahead and take a look at what she did in the start of that video. And until I see something that concerns me, that's when I will, uh, you know, address it. But as for now, I'm standing exactly where I have been. Um, Seth is a father whose child is missing and who uh, I very much have sympathy for. I have sympathy for Katie, too. Since when have you had any sympathy or empathy for Katie? 
So it's not about Seth. Um, this is merely about things that are coming out in regards to Tony Mathis and Warren Betty. And I want to discuss it. I want to talk about it because here we have to be fair and I'm going to be fair. And uh, we have to be. I can't sit here and go at other people and say that they're hypocrites. And be biased myself. So I'm, I'm going to stand on principles and I'm going to be fair all around regardless of anything. But this live stream will be brought to you by the letter P. Brittany has learned a new word this week. It is called principles. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard touchy subject. Now, have I heard some things that are concerning? Yes, I have, but, but I need proof of this. I haven't seen any evidence. We just keep getting these uh, allegedly hypothetical or, uh, in my opinion, I need to see rock solid evidence. <sighs> Let me go ahead and just do my intro and then I'm going to show. I want to uh, brandish a couple of screenshots. All right, buckle up. Brittany is going to be brandishing some screenshots. I can't even imagine how jaw dropping this is about to be. Before we get into the meat of the, the live stream, hey, Jeanette, Brett, I have always believed in Seth, but the question was about Tony. I know what I saw on that TikTok live. It was disrespectful to Sebastian. Seth called it fake, which we all know it was not. Are you talking about the 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 ping bomb? Hey, guidance. Um, hey, crazy moon. Hey, just Debbie. I I've got questions about that um, myself. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna comment on that one. But uh, you know, each each to their own. Hey, Casey. Good to see you. All right. I hate to do this, but I'm going to take this opportunity before we start. I need to show a couple forms of evidence if you guys don't mind. All right. She's going to be brandishing some forms of evidence. Um, Just bear with me. We are going to get into the Tony screenshots, um, but I just would like to take just a, a little moment to uh, show a couple of things that I need to show as my proofs. Okay. Hold on tight. She is going to be showing those proofs she's got. So I have, um, there were some people who made a, a live stream about me and um, I had mentioned that my Patreon, someone tried to access my Patreon account. Someone had tried to um, get the password to, to gain access into my Patreon. All right. So BJ is claiming that somebody attempted to hack into her Patreon, that they tried to access her Patreon. And it happened um, a couple days ago, and I'm being called a liar. People are saying that. I, so people are saying that I said that as, as in an attempt to get donations, sympathy donations from you guys. I don't know how the hell saying that my Patreon is going to get me donations because I wouldn't be so sure about you using this to gain sympathy donations. I think sympathy and playing the victim, absolutely. One, I said I'm going to be disabling my Patreon and, and deleting it. So people aren't going to go log on to my Patreon by me saying that. So it doesn't help me get Patreon members. And it certainly doesn't help me get donations by saying that. So I'm not really sure why they're saying that. You did say that you were going to be getting rid of that Patreon. I will give you that. But what else did you say? Oh, never mind. I'm sure you forgot by now. So I will just insert the clip here of what you actually said. And I just want to say regarding the Mallory stuff that uh, Sarah talked about. Yes, I'm not sure why you brought up that I took $25 out of the Patreon account, but I'm glad she did because that was my first red flag with her, okay? Because if she read you our private conversation, she read to you guys where she said, did you take, you took $25 out of the Patreon account? I thought we were going to discuss this. We never made, we, it was $20, $20. We never made any deals like that. I set up a Patreon account, which I, I'm actually, I'm glad that we were talking about this. I need to tell you guys, I am deactivate, deactivating my Patreon, the one that I currently have, and I will be making a new one because I haven't said anything. I've kept my mouth shut about it. My mods have seen proof of this and I have proof of it as well. Someone has tried to access my Patreon account multiple times. Okay. So Patreon would be a leg of your business. And as a business owner, you know, you call this your career, you would report said attempt to gain access to Patreon, to Patreon, and have them handle it, correct? I mean, that's what a business owner would do. TJ, well, that could that can they find out who it was? Because how do I didn't even know I could do that? I would, I, yeah. I've got the screenshot. I've got it all in my uh, in my mod chat. This clip is from August fifteenth, twenty twenty four. 
when somebody actually attempted to gain access, well, watch. So it's almost been two weeks and she still is yet to contact Patreon. Okay. The login attempt spicy happened uh, the day before Nonsense and, and Granny, or not Granny, but Nonsense and Mallory did this live. Mal and I did our live stream on August 5th. She said this happened the day before, so that would have been August 4th, correct? I can almost guarantee Nonsense said they spoke that night before, and I bet money she said, oh, you should get this into pay get into Patreon and look at it, almost guaranteed it. Well, that, my thoughts were, um, she was trying to access my Patreon so she could go get screenshots of, of, you know, my payouts and stuff like that. You know, it makes me second guess who, who accessed my email from December too. When my email got hit from December. And once again, there goes her chat gassing her up about things that didn't happen. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I actually think this, this, and this. Brittany, you are so easily gassed up, it's unbelievable. But Mal and I did have a conversation Sunday before we did the live stream. That was not talked about. Her Patreon wasn't even remotely addressed. Who does that, Moxie? Girl exposed herself with those files. Y'all, I'm not, you know what? This is fucking crazy. This says it all right here. Brittany, BJ's Discord. Mental health break. What she means by that is when she left my channel, she went into the Discord and told everybody she was taking a mental health break. She's got that screenshot. Discord messages about SWAT. She's calling the 911 call to my house SWAT when the EMS has come to my house. It wasn't a freaking SWAT. Stop calling it that. Email from the county dispatch. That right there makes me feel very uncomfortable. She's That's private information about the county that I live in. How many people do you think she's given that to? Email from county dispatch SWAT number two. Final text. That's an MP4. So I'm guessing she took a screen recording of mine and her final text messages. How many, how many people have you sent that to? She's got, she's got FOIA number one and FOIA number two. How many times did you FOIA? And how did you get one? Because I sure couldn't. Growing and talking shit. So there's, I, wow. I, where, where we were talking shit? And my channel growing? What? So I'm guessing that screenshot to that. Yeah, because that's a mobile. There's a file uh, with her that's where she says she don't want money. Uh, a screenshot, I guess. I guess that's a screenshot. And oh yeah, screenshots. These are screenshots. In comma, my feelings, text message, my messages about leaving, my phone log for FOIA call, offering not to get paid. Patreon number two. Patreon login. Patreon withdrawal receipts. Patreon. Okay, I want to know what those are. Why do you still have screenshots of my Patreon? Multiple screenshots of my Patreon. What the fuck? So again, the clip that you're watching is from August 15th. She is reviewing Mal and I's stream from August 5th. No big deal. She's attempting to make this big ordeal out of Mal having these files organized. If you look at the dates of the files, you will see that Mal organized these for the live stream on the 5th, the day before. There's nothing big nefarious about it. Mal just knew what she wanted to show and she got it all organized so her receipts would be in order. But instead of Brittany focusing on what was actually said, she claims she didn't watch the live stream. And then she goes on to make this big deal out of Mal having these organized and how creepy that is. But let's go back to what she said the night of the 17th in her live stream. But, um, right, exactly. I, I wish I knew, I wish I knew, Jules, how that brings donations. Um, I said it because it was the absolute truth. So with that being said, they have continued to say that I've lied about that. So I'm going to show the proof that my live, I mean, my Patreon uh, was tr someone tried to access it and it happened. Hold on a second. Let me show. Actually, what was said is that you will not be able to prove that I nor Mal were behind said attempts to get into or access your Patreon. That's what you need to prove because that's what you've been implying. But for those of you watching, pay close attention to the times that she's about to give with this. I find something very fishy about all of this because why wouldn't you just go ahead and report it to Patreon and handle it? I mean, I guess unless you're wanting to play the victim again and use it for content. Give me just a second, guys. Let me pull it up. So, one moment. So, the first thing I want to show you guys is we dropped so many. Hold on. Lord, we dropped so much stuff. I got to scroll up. The first thing I'm going to show you here, and I want you to keep this date. Um, I want you to remember this date, okay? So, 
the person I'm, and I'm not saying that anyone I'm not saying that anyone accessed my Patreon. I don't know who did it, but. So on the night of the 17th, she says, I don't know who did it, but here's this. Watch her times and her dates of all of this. But here's a clip of what she actually said too. I want to know if one of them is, is tipping cows and who the fuck tried to break into my, my Patreon. So on the 15th, she was blatantly implying that she thought me or Mal were behind these attempts to gain access to her Patreon. Carry on. I want you to look here. This live stream was a uh, nonsense and Mallory, my ex co-host Mallory and nonsense went live on August the 5th. That is correct that Mal and I went live on August 5th and did our stream, but I had been announcing it since August 1st. With that, keep your helmets on. I have a feeling there's a few creators. Oh, by the way, listen up for a second. I do have a special guest coming on in a little bit. Not today when she's up to it, but uh, malicious intent will be coming on for an expose of sorts in the near future to explain to the people in the back all of the bullshit she has gone through with receipts. And I cannot wait for, to host her because I adore her. I kind of try to mom her at times though, you know, <laughs> poor thing, but I look forward to that. We had been talking about it for quite a few days before we did the stream. To quote unquote, expose me. And in this live stream, Mallory showed numerous files saved into her computer of documents that were labeled BJ's Patreon, BJ's Patreon 2. Uh, and then like she had um, screenshots of the Discord, Discord 1, Discord 2. Uh, everything was categorized and labeled neatly from anywhere between mine and her conversations with different various text messages, um, screenshots and screen recordings of our text messages and our, you know, my, my Discord, our mod chat, just an entire array of pretty much our entire friendship bundled up in several files on her computer, okay? Of my private accounts, um, my just everything. Brittany claims that she didn't watch this live stream, but on the 17th, she's trying to tell her audience she knows exactly what all this was. All it was was receipts that were extremely organized by Mal. So that pay attention to that, okay? I'm not saying that anybody is guilty because I have no proof, but what I can tell you is I'm not going to sit here and lie when I say that my Patreon, someone attempted to log into it. Thank you, God. When it happened, I sent it to my mods and I showed them, hey, guys, someone just tried to get into my Patreon. I had no clue that she was going live at this time. Now, let me show you guys the proof that it happened before Nonsense went live. Nonsense and Mallory went live, okay? Did you hear her just say that she didn't know we were going live at this time? Well, that's not true either because... On the 2nd of August, she addressed us doing this upcoming live stream. Hang on one second. And just thank God in heaven that I, I shared these screenshots with my mods. Because by doing that, I have the dates and timestamps of everything. Okay. One second. This is becoming some I see lizard people paranoia. Damn it. Hold on. I got to send them to myself. I forgot they're in my phone. Bear with me, guys. And for those of you that don't, you know, you're here to see the live. I'm pretty sure you don't care about this. Just hold tight. I got to get this out because I don't want to waste my time doing an entire live stream to share these things. Okay, I, I can just share them right now. Meanwhile, on the 2nd of August, she claimed that she was going to be doing a stream and showing proof of all of these allegations that she made. Instead, she uses a live stream titled about TikTok Tony and Seth Rogers and Bullhorn Betty to throw these screenshots in the beginning of the live stream and try to paint a narrative about Mallory and I. She knew exactly what she was doing by this little attempt right here, and it just doesn't work. And I want to make it abundantly clear, I don't have an Apple phone, which is really bizarre to me. OK, I've never I've never owned an Apple phone. I'm not an Apple person. I've always been Android. If anybody's here with me that's been with me for a long time, you know, I have long professed that I am an Android person. So on August the 1st, I think it was the first. Let me look. Yes. So August the 2nd, I got multiple login attempts. On my computer, I mean, my, not my computer, it was my phone. And I'm going to show you. Give me just a second. But wait a second, you said that this happened the day before. Well, let's just play the clip again. The login attempt spicy happened uh, the day before Nonsense and, and Granny, or not Granny, Nonsense and Mallory did this live. 
So on the 15th of August, you told your chat that it happened the day before Mal and I's live stream, which would have been August 4th. Now on the 17th, you're claiming it happened on the 2nd. Can you make up your mind of what date this transpired? Make sure that there's nothing personal on here. I don't think there's anything personal on there. Okay, so I got, I received, let me share this with you guys. I received an email out of the blue, just out of nowhere. And I'll show you. If you see this, it was at 8.29 p.m. Here is your login code. 8.29 on August 2nd is when she's claiming she got this text message. Copy and paste this code below to log into your Patreon account. The code expires in 15 minutes. So for those of you that may not know what this is, basically it's the same thing as when you try to access your account with pretty much anything today. Google, Patreon, whatever, if you get, if you don't have the correct password, but you have the correct login name, they will send you a link or they will, not a link. I'm so sorry. They will send you a code and you use that code to prove that you are who you say you are. And with that code, you can access your, you know, your account. I just got this out of the blue, you guys. Okay. It was 830. You see it right there, 828 PM. Someone tried, and I, of course I blotted out the code, but someone tried to access my Patreon. Okay, so around 8.30 p.m. on August 2nd, you're claiming that somebody attempted to access your Patreon. Okay, and your point is? All right, let me pull this down for a minute. I got, let me just double check to make sure that I'm not showing anything private, okay? I don't want to dox anybody. One moment. Okay, let me share this real quick. So here I'm going to show you. You've seen that screenshot, right? Here's where I shared it in my mod chat the minute that it happened. Now, I have ever so graciously made sure that I've got the dates. You can see it here. August the 2nd at 9.11 p.m. She must have all notifications on for her email because initially she says that this happens at 8.30 August 2nd. She gets the notification. By 9.11, she is in her mod chat showing screenshots of said attempt access to her account. She must be really watching for every single notification from her email address because that's within like, what, 45 minutes time frame. She was in there complaining to her mods that somebody was trying to access her account. Why didn't she just report it to Patreon? And again, I thought you said this happened the day before Mal and I's live stream, which would have been August 4th. Megan asked me, what happened? I said, 911, but you can't see it up there. I said, call, we need a phone call. Megan says, what happened? I, I hop on the call and then I immediately I drop the Patreon code to my mods that's look at that that's august the 2nd at 9 11 p.m okay so within 45 minutes you're freaking out got it and i that's when we, me and my mods hopped on a call and i dropped this and i showed them If they would have known the login name and the password, they would have been able to access your Patreon. So chances are they put in your email address, which is public, and attempted to access your account that way. That would be my assumption, though. I don't fuck with Patreon, so truly don't know. But I don't appreciate the implication that you're making that I had something to do with this when you can't even get your dates straight. But carry on. Well, the person obviously knew the login name, but they didn't have the password. Okay, so... There's that. Let me do this. And I'm going to show you where there were several. This is so fucking weird. Like I'm getting several codes for my Apple. I'm not an Apple user. This happened at the same damn time. Okay. So let me make sure that I'm not. Uh... I'm an Apple user 100% and have no reason to hide that fact. I find it hysterical that she attempts to say, I'm not an Apple user though. There's another thing that you don't use either. It's called common sense or logic or your brain. You deplete brain cells of those around you very fast, but you don't use your brain either, along with Apple products. Shocker. All right, I think this is okay. All right, look at this. Look at this. Your Apple ID code is, don't share it with anyone. They did it several times. Several times I've got Apple ID codes. Somebody was trying to... I don't, I really fucking, it was through messenger. I, I was sharing it through messenger. Uh, but I don't know what the hell I kept getting this email an Apple ID code over and over and over. And this happened and you, I can't, I don't know if you can see the time cause the arrow, but it's at eight. I think it's like here. I think it's at eight something. Cause you can see here it's at nine forty PM right there that, that, uh, so all of this was around the same time. So let me stop sharing that. And I'm gonna show you where I shared that also 
the Apple thing in mod chat at the same time. All this happened at the same time. I find it really ironic that you paid that close of attention to your emails, that you got these notifications at around 8.30. And by 9.15-ish, you were in your mod chat freaking out about it. Why didn't you go to Patreon instead of your mods? That's what I'd like to know. Okay, let me show you. This is where I showed it in mod chat as well. I was like, what is going on, guys? Somebody's trying to access my shit. Look, 9.48, August the 2nd, 9.48 p.m. Oh, my God. I said, OMG. And I showed that and I said, y'all, what the F? I don't even have an Apple device. That's when one of my mods said, oh, my God, Britt, what is going on? So now we've gone from around 9.11 to 9.49. She's still carrying on with her mods instead of going to Patreon or changing her passwords on things like most would do. Like, we're still on the call at that time. My whole point of even sharing all this is because I'm, I, some of you guys are probably very confused that you, if you didn't see the live the other night, but I constantly, uh, the people are, I'm so tired of being called a liar. Why are you screenshotting your mod chat as you're on a call, dropping proof of said emails you got that somebody was trying to access your Patreon? That seems a little fishy to me. Was it because you intended on showing this at some point in time and saying that somebody was attempting to access your account? I still have questions though. Originally you claimed on the 15th that it was the day before Mal and I's live stream, which again would have been August 4th. Now you're showing screenshots from August 2nd. Can you make up your mind and stick to one lane? I have nothing to lie about, no reason to lie. So there's that. You've seen it. 100% somebody tried to access my Patreon and it was 100% from Days ago, it wasn't, can't say it's something I just did. I didn't even know that nonsense was going to go live at that time. Oh, Brittany, why do you do this? You say I have no reason to lie and then you carry on to lie. You just claimed again that you didn't know me and Mal were going to be doing this live stream on the 5th of August. Again, I started announcing that on the 1st of August, but as of the 2nd, I will insert a clip upcoming to prove that on August 2nd, you absolutely knew that we were going to be doing this live stream. Why you're changing the story now, beyond me. I had no idea about her live stream. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. Hold on, I'm checking my jet. And this upcoming clip is from August 2nd. Mallory Doyle, this is for you. Mallory Doyle, a.k.a. Malicious in fucking tent. I'm going to tell you this one time. I'm sick of you. You don't stop talking about me. It never ends. I haven't spoke about you. I haven't spoke to you. And I don't bother you. But now you're sitting over there saying, I'll be so glad when I don't have to sit on my hands. You haven't been sitting on your hands. You've been trashing me. And you've been, you introduce yourself as my ex freaking co-host. You, There's never been a time that you sat on your hands. Go ahead. Out whatever else it is you want to out. Because to be perfectly fucking honest with you, half of the stuff that you come out with has been all lies. It's unreal to me. Mallory, I thought you were better than this. I've got kids, for God's sakes. I know that you don't have kids, so maybe you don't understand. But sitting there constantly going after another person, for what? What did I do to you? Nothing. Now, I'm going to save this for tomorrow because I've got some stuff to show y'all. And I'm going to do it on my second channel because I don't want to bring this here. I find it really ironic that she lost her shit and freaked out on August 2nd when she was obviously told by her mods that Mal and I were going to be doing a stream upcoming on her. She never did do the live stream on August 3rd that she claimed she was going to be doing and showing proof or receipts of things but for her to claim on the 17th that she didn't know we were going to be doing this stream on the 5th is hysterical to say the least. I had no intentions on speaking on any of this tonight because I don't want to do this on this channel. But I will be going live on my main channel tomorrow. And I will be addressing some stuff and showing screenshots. I am sick of all of it. I don't bother these fucking people nonsense i thought it wasn't personal but there you are talking about me mutant it might feel very personal to you Brittany, because i'm busting out your lies one at a time over and over again so it might feel very personal to you because you can't keep up with your own lies that's a you thing not a me thing you sit there 
But let's go back to August 17th and finish up that part. Okay. All right. So Seth, the reason that I'm hashtagging you in this was in hopes that you would come in here. Oh, did you hear that she used the hashtag of a missing child's father to get him to come into the stream? Meanwhile, she's doing drama about creators such as Mal and myself and trying to claim that somebody accessed her Patreon. Say it isn't so. Brittany would never bring her drama into a stream like this because she had a captive audience waiting for the drama with Seth, Tony, and BHB. Never. She would never do that. I started to do the pre-recorded layout, and lo and behold, here it is with more of Britney's bullshit and lies. Right. I Listen, that's what I'm I have gone to bat and taken a lot of shit. Um, and I believe in, in standing up for what's right when it comes to the parents and stuff like that. Uh, and hold on a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't even I haven't even had the op wait a minute, y'all. I haven't even been given the opportunity to go through these things and discuss it. I haven't even started my live stream now. Oh, she had started her live stream. She was just trying to play the victim once again. And it was being overshadowed because the chat was going sideways because Seth was in there and he was very unhappy. She was trying to do her drama and address Mal and I, but other people were already popping off in the chat. She hadn't got to do her intro or even start her stream. She was still stuck on stupid trying to lie to her audience about things that didn't happen for 500, Alex. I've told you, Brittany, stop lying about me and I will stop telling the truth about you. Thank you all for watching another nonsensical review of nothing but straight up BS and lies. I will be back with the pre-recorded layout of the rest of the nonsensical BS that popped off in that stream. But they definitely deserve to be separated out because the amount of insanity that kicked off in that live stream is intense. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and if you wouldn't mind, please hit that thumbs up for me on your way out. See you next time.